Hello, beautiful peoples of the interwebs. What is up? It's your host with the most dicey hair, and today we are gonna take a look at the newly released game, Rainbow Six Siege. And I just had to say, at first, I wasn't even gonna get this game, but a friend told me to check it out. It was on sale, so I got it, and I do not regret my decision at all. This game is one of the best games I've played in a long time. It's very tense, makes your heart race. But anyways, let's take a look at uh, the situation mode to start off with. And this is kind of like the story mode for the game, so it doesn't really have a story. It's mostly online, which that's the fun of this game, but we'll go ahead and check this out. So I haven't played this one yet. We are facing a bomb threat against a high value target. It is crucial that you choose an entry point that minimizes your exposure to enemy fire and the time it takes to reach the bomb and disarm it. Repelling is the quickest way to traverse the building, allowing you to bypass corridors and stairs. Once you reach the target, you will need to disarm a bomb loaded with an unknown chemical compound. We have equipped you with a diffuser. Set it near the bomb to intercept the signal. Protect a diffuser while it completes the sequence. Alright, so I yeah. And a bomb. I'm gonna be playing this uh, this game with a controller, even though it's on keyboard and mouse. I actually like playing shooters with a keyboard and mouse, but this game actually controls really well on a controller, so. Alright, let's go into this window. Oh shoot, somebody was right inside of this window. Alright, what tools do I have on me? Let's uh, send out a little spy car. We got a guy there. Oh, God. Let's see anybody back here. Oh, there's a guy right there. All right, that's a back wall. Oh, God. Okay, well there goes my spy camera, but at least we got some marks on a lot of other guys. So that's good. Uh, okay, so these things can blow up in walls, so that will be really good. Alright. Oh shoot. And I'm really low on health. I hear somebody walking. All right. Ow, can I like pick this up? Oh, this game's so intense. Alright, I don't really have to worry about that. Oh shoot, they still got a guy alive. Oh no, I'm blind. All 
Oh shoot, he, did I kill him? Um, how did I use the diffuser? There we go. Oh, this is so intense. Oh, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, he finally found me. That was so funny. Oh my god, there were a lot of them coming. I'm so bad. I'm so bad at single player. Okay, let's go try our chances in multiplayer. I probably won't be much better, but I really like multiplayer a lot. So, Oh yeah, also the way you get new characters in here is you unlock them from... Each category they initially cost 500 and then every other one you get after that they cost up to 2,000 so they increase by 500. I have two unlocked. I have this guy, uh, well I have one guy here, I think it's, I don't even remember their names, but all I know is that, oh yeah, I can see you here. I have Sledge and Castle and when you unlock them they get this cool little video you get to watch, but I'll leave that for you guys to watch. So, uh, let's go into multiplayer here. Um, at level 20 you unlock ranks so they don't really want you getting this ranked until you really know the game well also this game relies heavily on voice chat but you don't have to use it and actually I have it muted for the purpose of this video because you never know what people are gonna say and nobody's gonna want to hear me blabbering on <laughs> so yeah so this game is a really cool game I'm really enjoying it so far. Like I said, it's one of the most fun games I've played in a while for a shooter. I normally don't like shooters, but I love the concept of attacking, defending, and everything could be changed randomly. There's like 15 or 20 maps in this game, and each one has different locations. So, and then depending on who you play against, everything could be different. So, all right. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and be Castle, my newly unlocked defender. And we're the orange team, so yeah, we are defending first. So each specialist has different abilities, but I have to unlock a lot more. So we'll see when I eventually get them. But for now, I enjoy the two that I have unlocked. And the default one's pretty good too if you customize them. So in the beginning stage, when you're the attacker, which we'll see when we switch to attackers, you get to go into those little drones like I used in the mission. And with those drones, you get, you can explore and see what's going on. Why can't I go through there? Okay, whatever. Op 4 has located a bomb. Ready for assault. So now they know. Okay, I'm gonna actually barricade this door. Lay down some barbed wire there. Op four is located a bomb. Get ready to engage. There we go. Finally killed it. Oh, come on, he locked me out, really? There we go. Oh, shoot. Okay, can't do that. Normally, you can destroy walls, but these must be reinforced walls, so. So we'll reinforce this wall, just in case they try to blast into the wall somehow. Alright, this room's super secure now. Oh, 
Sorry. Okay, we just lost somebody on our team, so. Oh shoot, how have I been spotted? Oh my god! Where the hell was I killed from? Oh my god. Yeah, this game's permadeath, so. One friendly operator remaining. I forgot about the ceilings. There's always other ways people could break in. <laughs> Mission critical bond diffuser activated. Oh, come on. We're gonna lose, probably. <laughs> All friendlies were eliminated. <sighs> it's my first time playing a lot of these maps too, so. All right, let's see if we do better as the attackers. Sledge is actually going to be really good for this map because there's a lot of things to break. And I really love how the game is, or how the environment in this game is fully destructible. That's really awesome to me. Alright, let's, hopefully we do better this round. Because that first round wasn't very good. <laughs> this is pretty awesome. Ten seconds to insertion. Your drone has found a bomb. Five seconds. All right. Well, the diffuser has been recovered. You found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. I'm gonna go into the roof if possible. And I have the diffuser too, so. There's a way in over here, so. Oh my god, let me drop down, Gabe. I killed one of them, but that's bad that I died.
this is so intense. Yes, yes, yes. Come on, we got this. Oh my god, no. One friendly operator remaining. The diffuser has been secured. Oh my god. Oh my god. <sighs> that round was a little better, but I shouldn't have dove right in there. I actually am probably going to want to change to a machine gun next time I attack. You know what? A shotgun... I'm going to go with a machine gun this time. I think I'll have better luck. At least I hope. <laughs> All right, here we go. Secure the area. Keep the bombs protected. Okay. So the bombs are in this room this time. Place an armor panel. Alright, yeah, let's reinforce these walls. Oh shoot, they could come in through the ceiling again though. Actually, maybe not in this room, they can't. There we go. Let's see him get through those bad boys. Alright, this is the only door that they'll be able to get in easily. Because we have panels over these other ones. Unless they come in through the ceiling, which would be extremely scary. And I have my machine gun this time too, so. This is the only way they're getting in right here. I probably shouldn't have armor paneled something else and I should have got this instead. Because the door would have gave them a better shot to get in. 
So if they come in through this way, then my strategy was bad and I just heard a grenade go off. I really think they're going to have an extremely hard time getting in though. And they didn't find where the bomb was too, so they had to search. Oh shoot, they're coming in! <laughs> Oh shoot, they're coming in from somewhere else. Ah, oh, dang it. I tried to get him. I don't know the cool move you get to do where you get to uh, sneak out through or crouch over the side. Interesting though that they blew open that wall. This is intense right here. They have two guys alive. We have three. Oh! Now they have one alive. Oh, he's out there. Down to 15 seconds. Unless they charge in in 15 seconds and plant it, though, we're going to be okay. Heck yeah, we did it! I think we really barricaded ourselves in well there all right let's see if we could do better as attackers I think I did better with the machine gun so I'm gonna go that route again and hope for the best and we'll take breach charges because we're probably gonna need them if they do something shady like we just did All right, here it goes again. Am I going the right way? No, I'm not. Of course not. All right, let's just go into the front. I'm wasting all the planning phase because I didn't know where to go. the hell um well insertion in five seconds something jammed me at least we know where to go right, we know that the bombs are in there so let's go in through the second floor window Yep, not happening. Area. 
<laughs> oh shoot, did my teammate just fall? <laughs> oh god. dead. That's pretty dumb. That was intense. That that was a good round right there. Ah, better luck next time. All right, cool. So yeah, this was Rainbow Six Siege. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked this video, remember to like it. If you disliked it, dislike it. Comment down below about anything you thought. If you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe for the latest and greatest content. If you think a friend would enjoy it, share with them or add to your favorites. Because both those things help this channel to grow. And I appreciate it. If you want to get a copy of Rainbow Six Siege, check out the link down in the description. This is definitely a game you're going to want in your library. And I highly recommend it. Anyways, guys, as always, this is Icy. Till next time, y'all stay awesome. Peace.